Hi everybody and welcome, I'm coach Carolyn and today we're going to talk about how to keep the correct width in our backswing and how to avoid casting in the downswing all in one. All right, so today we're going to work on the width in our backswing, which has a lot to do with our downswing actually. And I'm going to show you why. So a lot of people and my students, especially they're struggling with some casting in the downswing. And sometimes you think that it's a downswing issue, but really it starts way before then. It really starts in the takeaway as so many things do. And it does start in the backswing, which then translates into a certain reaction in the downswing. Because if you think about it, our backswing is more actionary. Our downswing is more reactionary. So whatever position we're putting ourselves in here, we're going to react as we're going down to the ball. So we want to essentially eliminate the actions that we have to take in the downswing because it's very difficult to do that. You just want to kind of react and drop the club in the slot and swing it through. So we got to work on our backswing positions and our takeaway positions is where it all starts. So what I see a lot in the backswing with people that have a casting problem coming down is that they take all the hinge out of the wrists and put it into their arms. So what's hinging is their arms and elbows, but not their wrists. So we don't have a correct wrist set and we have an incorrect elbow and arm set. So that's what that sometimes looks like. Essentially they're at setup and then they start pulling their arms away from the ball versus doing a nice one piece takeaway with your core where that width is kept as we want it, right? So here, if I do it incorrectly, you're kind of pulling it back. You see how my right arm is hinging already. My left arm is also kind of breaking down already. And then all they can do is lift to the top and then your right arm is over hinged and your left arm has a hard time staying straight. So essentially your wrists haven't hinged at all because if you hinge your arms, you don't, you don't also hinge your wrists because then you're really crammed. So it looks somewhat like this and then you are breaking down. And if you're breaking down on the top like this, if your right elbow is over hinged and then when I say over hinged is more than 90 degree, you, you want it 90 degree, but you don't want it over 90 degrees. And then your left arm, is, is, it's really hard if your right elbow is over hinged. See what happens to my left arm? So my right arm now is pretty much at 90. So now I have width to keep my left arm straight. If my right arm keeps hinging, what happens to my left arm? It also breaks down. So a lot of the time when people feel like they're struggling at the top with their left arm not being able to stay straight, it's not your left arm problem. It's actually a right arm problem. And the right arm is hinging and folding too early and then over folding in the backswing versus keeping that right arm and right shoulder at a 90 degree. And here, this is nicely and away from my ear. You know me, I love ears. So it's like, we don't want to be close to our ear. We want to be away from our ear and we want to have a 90 degree bend max in our right arm. That's really going to help your left arm. And now going into the effect of this. So the cause is, the cause is a poor takeaway, kind of a pulling away from the ball, a hinging of the arms, no hinge in the wrists, and then we're, we're narrow. And now what happens? You've got to actually throw the club out of the ball because you know you need some width. You know you need to come down. And this is where the casting, the scooping, the body stalling, the hands are overtaking the body. All those things are coming into play, which we don't want to do. How do we fix it? We fix it by focusing on the takeaway first, on the width in the backswing, and then our downswing is going to fall into place much, much better than we ever thought. All right, so in the backswing, we want to make sure that our takeaway is very much nice and one piece takeaway. You take it away with your belly button. There's a great training aid that I'll pop the link below. It's called the straight away by Mr. David Ledbetter. I'm a huge fan. You know me, I'm not a training aid gal, but that one really works. It's going to help you get into this takeaway and really move it away with your belly button and have a visual reference for it. I always kind of feel like if I don't have this training aid that I'm just keeping my hands a little bit closer to my thigh and my club head a little bit outside of my hands. Now that we have our hands close to my thigh and my club head outside of my hands, now I keep this triangle. There's no breaking down. I have this width. And only at about nine o'clock, I'm gonna start hinging my wrist. With this wrist set, I'm also gonna start setting my elbow. And only to about 90 degrees. See how nicely then that, that causes my shoulder to turn 90 degrees. And it also allows my left arm to stay straight. Now we're in a very nice arm structure position, a really nice wide position going back. And now we can actually drive through the ball and feel like we're actually impacting and we're compressing the ball and we're swinging through with our nice and straight arms. So now we have eliminated a lot of that casting motion. So it really is crazy in golf. You think you have a downswing problem, but I promise you 
9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's not a downswing issue. It's either a setup takeaway or early backswing issue that's putting you behind that eight ball to make it really difficult to come down the way you want to. The way you feel that width on the top, that's my second tip I want to give you. Number one is that takeaway and that kind of, you know, follow in the motion of first you are in eight o'clock, hands in, club head out, hinge your wrists, fold your elbow, there you are. If you need another feel to reinforce this top position, I encourage you to feel like with these meaty part of your palm right here. So when you're on the grip, this part of your palm right here, which has a lot of meat to it, which is kind of strong, that's on top of your grip, ideally, right? It's set up. And I want you to feel like as you're at the top of the backswing, you're pushing away. So that keeps that right arm from over collapsing. So I want you to feel like you're pushing the right arm out. It's not straight. We don't want to feel like that right arm straight but you want to make sure you keep that pressure outward, which kind of pulls that left arm straight. So that's going to be a really good reference point for you on the range and even on the course. If you want to feel that width at the top of your backswing, if you're collapsing at the top of your backswing, feel like you're pushing that right arm out. So if you feel like, oh, I just can't keep my left arm straight at the top, focus on your right arm. <laughs> that's golf. We have one problem. We've got to focus on another to fix the first one. Oh, welcome to this beautiful sport. So let's hit some balls with this. I'm going to now feel that pushing at the top because I really think that resonates a lot and it also helps me to then get into the downswing and feel like I'm pushing into the ball as I go through. I'm going to set up. I'm going to make a couple of good training, training waggles here with our takeaway. And then we're going to hinge and take it to the top with that pressure to the outside behind me with that meaty part of my palm. I really like this feeling. It's, it just gives you a good reference point and I do love focusing on a secondary point in my swing versus focusing on the problem point, which, you know, it, it actually works. It's not that I don't want to focus on where the problem is, but sometimes the problem is a symptom, not a root cause. One more time. Good waggle. I just love this feeling. It really helps me focus on my right arm versus my left arm and it fixes my left arm by focusing on the other arm. So if you're feeling like you're struggling with keeping that left arm straight at the top and with casting it in the downswing, it's because you're not having a good arm structure at the top. These few tips with the takeaway, your backswing and that pressure with your right arm outwards on the top of your backswing are really going to help you. Try it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you like this channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and I'm always here to answer any more questions that you have. Leave them below for me because I need more inspiration for more videos. My job is to help you. Let me know what you want to work on. See you next time.